for BOD, we first we need to prepare aeration distilled water. 24 hours before you conduct a BOD sampling or testing, you need to aerate the distilled water for or 24 hours before you doing the testing. As you can see, I already aerated my distilled water for this uh, showcase. And now, uh, I'm going to show you two types of BOD. A TBOD, a Total Biochemical Oxygen Demand, and CBOD, a Carbonicus Biochemical Oxygen Demand. Uh, a CBOD is a BOD without a nitrate content with inside the sample. So for CBOD, we've been using uh, a nitrification inhibitor to inhibit from nitrification from occurring. So now, for, for the first two bottles will be used for TBOD, and the second, uh, the, the the last two bottles will be used for CBOD, and one bottle will be used for a blank, for a value correction after five days. So before we start, we will be prepping our CBOD bottle with a little bit of nitrification inhibitor into the bottle. After the nitrification inhibitor, we can we can pour the sample into the bottle. But uh, a side note here is that for influence, the value is may, might be high. So the volume sample for influence is news is between from 30 milliliter to 50 milliliter. While for effluent, the value of BOD might be low. So the volume sample will be news is between 100 to 150 milliliter. There's a workaround for you to know what will be the value. What will be the value of BOD by seeing the COD value of the samples. The BOD value is usually around 50% of the value of the COD. So, by pouring the samples into the bottle slowly without spilling, as you can see, I'm using 150ml. For, uh, of sample volume for effluent while this is the influent we'll be using only 50 milliliter the things will be repeated for the TBOD without the in, uh, nitrification inhibitor now only for the showcase I'll be using the NBOD to explain thoroughly for both TBOD and NBOD now if we bring we need to fill this bottle with this aerated distilled water slowly by tilting the bottle and slowly open the valve. Any turbulence of water splashing will cause a bubble from happening. This will make our test our sample void and cannot be used. It need to be redone. The distilled water will be filled until the neck of the bottle, and if it's overspilled, you need to be you need to redo the sample all over again because it is already to be vital. We've been using the dissolved oxygen meter to calculate the amount of dissolved oxygen inside the sample or inside the body bottle. But first, we need to prepare the blank sample. The blank sample will uh, will be a BOD bottle without any sample, only to be filled with aerated distilled water. Now we have a blank, an influence sample, and an effluent sample. After we after the bottle is filled with the aerated distilled water, using the probe of the DO meter, we stuck into the bottle and let it read for a few seconds. The first star shown in the value is the value that we keep recorded for the initial value of the BOD. As 
you can see the star shows at the value of 8.72 that is our initial value of the BOD bottle of blank now take our probe and wash it with your normal distilled water before probing it to another bottle Pro put it slowly and enter this on the switch The value for the influence will be 8.38 as shown in the meter. Repeat again for the last effluent sample. So we have already received our initial value for the effluent BOD. Clean the probe and put it back into the empty bottle of BOD for it to stabilize. Now, after we have measured the initial value, we take a normal distilled water and fill the bottle until half of its neck. Now, using the glass stopper, we plug the bottle slowly without causing any bubble to create inside the bottle. Next, using an airtight cap, slowly put the cap on top of the bottle to seal any air from coming out or going in. For our final safety measure, take an aluminium sheet and wrap around the top of the bottle to ensure again so no air coming out or coming in. Now, after wrapping the top of the bottle, flip the bottle to check if there is any air bubble inside the bo bottle. If there is any bubble, we need to redo the test because this is considered void already. Using a pen marker, label your bottle to ensure to not mix up during after the five days to take the final reading. After all is done, this incubator is set on 20 degrees Celsius and will and this sample will be kept for five days before measuring the final reading of the DO. have one sample that already sit inside the incubator for 5 days and the results can be taken for the final initial for the final BOD reading so before we reading before we read the final value flip the bottle upside down to ensure there is no bubble inside the bottle if there is bubble inside the bottle after 5 days the the sample is rejected means there is an oxidation occur inside the bottle 
and will affect the value of the dissolved oxygen. Luckily for us, there is no bubble in this bottle, so we can proceed with reading the final BOD reading. Carefully open the cap without causing any splash. Clean the probe with bisti water before probing it into the bottle. Flip the switch and wait for a few seconds. As shown in the DO meter, the final value is 7.91 and that is how we do BOD.